Insights too, welcome, hi. I am so glad to be back with Insights. I know I've had a little break, but you know, I was watching on and saying, you know what? There's so much news, there's so much that's happened and people are hearing a lot of stuff that does not make any sense. So why can't I come back and share the good news of the gospel? When I can't, why can't I come back and tell you what the truth is? Because the truth is from the word of God. The truth is the cut, word cut, of God. Cut. Wait, you know why you're going clothes backwards? Really? Why are my clothes backwards? They're not backwards. I can do whatever I want. Am I a free citizen? Can't I do whatever I want? I mean, these are backward. You know, this is my hat. I decided that this is my hat. I decided how to wear my clothes. I'm a free agent. I can do whatever I want. And nobody can say anything to me. And let me tell you, I make more sense than most people. You see, that's how the world is. Wild and crazy. But you know, enough. Enough. We've had enough. We've had enough of the craziness. We've had enough of the madness. The life that we are living does not make any sense. The things that we are being told does not make any sense. And why are we continuing with the charade? We have a yardstick to use, which is the word of God. I want to refer to that today. You know, Proverbs, the wisest man that ever lived, King Solomon, he wrote the Proverbs and he has some things in here for us to learn how to live. You know, you can read a proverb every single day and gain that knowledge and insight. But you know, Proverbs chapter one, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. We think that we are so wise with the advent of the internet and we've gotten all this information. We think that we know better than God, but let me tell you, we need God. We have lost all way. We're like a ship without a rudder. We don't have a compass we don't know whether it's north south west or east but i've come to give you some direction today and i've given you it from the word of god i'm going to turn to proverbs 22 and i'm going to do this for the next 30 insights because the 30 is wise saying that solomon has given to us in proverbs 22 starting at verse 17 i'm just going to look at it here right now put it on the spec so that i can get it and i'm going to the word of god and i'm going to read verbatim what i want to re read verbatim because I want to let you know I'm not making it up. We make up a lot of stuff. Also, the Bible talk about not moving in the same Proverbs, the boundary lines. We have boundaries set up for a reason. The things set up for a reason. Things are the way they are so that they can operate smoothly. But we decide that we know better than God. In fact, we decide that we are gods. That is where we are falling. That's where we are failing. But the, the Proverbs say, and I'm going to read it from verse 17. It says, pay attention. That's what we have to do today. And turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. You know, the word wise, I'll do an acrostic there. It means wonderful, insightful sayings to enlighten. Because we need to be enlightened. Wonderful, insightful sayings to be enlightened. So we be wise today. Pay attention and turn your ear to the sayings of the wise. Apply your heart to what I teach. For it is pleasing when you keep them in your heart. And have all of them ready on your lips. So that your trust may be in the Lord. I teach you today. Even you, have I not written 30 sayings for you? Sayings of counsel and knowledge, teaching you to be honest and to speak the truth so that you bring back truthful reports to those you serve. And it says here, teaching you to be honest and to speak the truth. Bring back the honesty. Bring back the truth. I'm challenging you today. We always have these challenges on, on Instagram. I'm challenging you today. Bring back the truth. Bring back the honest. Return back to the Lord Jesus Christ. The hour is short. He's reminding us here. It says, pay attention. Turn your ear. Pay attention. Pay attention, people. Pay attention. Because God wants us to be what he's called us to be, sons and daughters of the Most High God. He's calling us today. He loves you. And I'm saying to you today, the Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. He said, remind them that I love them. Remind them to speak the truth. I want to tell you today, welcome to Insights. I am Denise. I identify as the redeemed. God bless you.